Israel-Iran War News Today After far-right ministers' irresponsible statements, Israeli President Isaac Herzog thanks Joe Biden. A day after the U.S. halted a bomb shipment to Israel, Joe Biden stated he would not give arms if Israel begins a full-scale offensive in Rafah. Check out our daily podcast on why a ceasefire hasn't happened while scrolling, the UK airdrops 110 tons of Gaza civilian aid. Today UK military airdropped 110 tons of assistance for Bazan people. The RAF dropped 120 parachutes with ready-to-eat meals, water, rice, tin goods, and flour for its 11th airdrop today. Gaza's northern coast received supplies. For the Jordanian International Initiative, the UK began airdrops in late March. Defence Secretary Grant Shapps spoke of the UK's unwavering commitment to providing huge amounts of help to the poor. Given Gaza's critical humanitarian situation, we dispatched RFA Cardigan Bay to the eastern Mediterranean to help pier construction to transport vital humanitarian aid, he said, all decisions have intentional and unforeseen effects. The goal of President Biden's warning to cease providing weapons to Israel is to prevent the Israeli force from entering Rafah without a civilian strategy. There are many unforeseen effects. This choice could hurt President Biden geopolitically and domestically. The dangers of setting red lines must be considered before considering the unintended outcome. Too often, geopolitical diplomacy techniques are flawed. What if Netanyahu invades Rafah via the red line? He probably stores plenty American weapons. Do Biden's threats to stop weapons delivery stand? Or will he yield? What message will both selections send globally? That leads to unforeseen consequences. First, regional effects. Could civilian casualties rise? Netanyahu will employ dumb bombs if his Rafa operation continues with a lack of American smart bombs. This could result in additional civilian deaths. What's its regional message? Countries will notice that America appeared to leave Israel, despite Biden's denials. It shows America's alliances are shaky. Biden has rejected weapons supply limits for months. He reversed. Gulf nations question America's alignment stability. Despite agreeing with his announcement last night, the broader message may embolden Iran. Some view limiting arms to Israel's oldest Middle Eastern friend as a gift to Tehran during a dangerous time for Israel. What impact will this have on ceasefire negotiations? Hamas may regard this decision as weakening Israel and hold out in discussions to demand more, Trump, his presidential opponent, said, Biden's Israel policy is horrible. Jewish voters for Joe Biden should be ashamed. Nobody believes his complete abandonment of Israel. President Biden's Gaza approach has alienated critical voters. He offended Arab Americans in Michigan, a state he needs to win in November, by openly backing Netanyahu. In addition, students, many of whom would vote for Biden, say they can't vote for him and shout genocide Joe. His weapons declaration may alienate Jewish American voters. The abandonment of the Jewish state infuriates many. Many voters will miss his poorly defined claim that he will defend Israel. The headline is all they see. Remember that most Republicans oppose every measure he takes to reign in Israel and want full backing for Israel. More importantly, many of his Democrats are uncomfortable with America limiting Israel's weaponry. Only his party's progressive left backs him. Political push-me-pull-you is dangerous, and the election is six months away.